What's up Trophy Hunter? Sony has finally announced the PS Plus Extra and Premium games for August 2024. Like always in this video I show you all the games including Platinum difficulty and time. The games will be available to play on August 20. The first game is The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, available on PS4 and PS5. The base game comes with 53 trophies and there are two DLCs. There are also some missables and you need to complete the game on the Dev March difficulty. The game also supports cross save but it's not possible to auto pop all the trophies. But you can make a save right before unlocking a certain trophy. It works basically same as in Resident Evil Village. Next game is Wild Hearts which is similar to Monster Hunter. There is only a PS5 version and the game has 49 trophies. There are no missables and keep in mind there are 3 online trophies but fortunately they are super easy. For example you need to revive one teammate or you need to complete 20 quests online. Next we have Cult of the Lamp. There is a PS4 and a PS5 version, no cross save, no auto pop. Base game comes with 37 trophies and there are 2 DLCs. There are no missables, this one is an easy but worth playing platinum game. Next game is Ride 5. There is only a PS5 version and the game has 50 trophies. No missables, basically a pretty easy but very time consuming platinum. There are also some online trophies, but fortunately they are easy, you need to complete a minimum of 20 races. Next one is Watch Dogs 2, there is only a PS4 version and the base game comes with 50 trophies. There are also 3 DLCs, but like you know you don't need them to get the platinum. Trophy was a pretty easy platinum, but of course what is a game without some annoying online trophies. There are only 3 and they are easy, but they are still annoying. Next we have Naruto to Boruto Shinobi Striker. There is only a PS4 version with 48 trophies. And oh my god, this is a hell of a time consuming platinum. No missables, basically an easy one, but you need a lot of time to get all the trophies in this one. And next we have a lot of Sword Art Online games. The first one is Sword Art Online Last Recollection. This one has a PS4 and a PS5 version and it's possible to auto pop all the trophies from PS4 to PS5. The game has 44 trophies and there are no missables. Basically a relatively easy one, but it's very time consuming. Next one is the Sword Art Online game Alicization Like Chorus. There is only a PS4 version with 48 trophies, but there are also two DLCs you can play. This is basically like all the other Sword Art Online games, they are not really hard at all, but they are very very time consuming. Next one is Sword Art Online Fatal Bullet. There is only a PS4 version, base game comes with 47 trophies and there are two DLCs. There are no missables and this one is a bit shorter than the previous ones. And if you think it's over, no it's not, we have another one, Sword Art Online Hollow Realization. This one is available on Vita and PS4, but of course you can only download the PS4 version. The game has 53 trophies, this time there are no DLC trophies. Relatively easy, but like the other ones, very time consuming. And now let's jump to the premium games and start with another Sword Art Online game. Sword Art Online Lost Song. There are 43 trophies and no DLC trophies. No missables, pretty straightforward, easy, just a bit time consuming. Next we have Vacation Simulator, please keep in mind you need a PSVR 2 to play the game. This one is a very easy and straightforward platinum with no missables. And the next three games are classic games, there will be a PS4 and a PS5 version, but currently I have no information about any trophies, but like always I hope for trophy support for each one. Definitely some well known games, the first one is as you can already see in the background, Time Splitters, Time Splitters 2 and last but not least Time Splitters Future Perfect. I'm a huge fan of the first two Time Splitters and I played a lot back in the day, but I think they aged not really well so I'm not really hyped about the games. What do you think about the lineup? Let me know it in the comment section below. I hope you found this video useful, thanks for the attention, see you in my next one.